Wait. Okay. Good job. So if I open the door and he, yes, and he goes, I'm going to shut the door, yes. right? All right, let's go. All right, here we go. We got a little uh, motorized. Yes. Nice. One little mark and pay, and he's good to go. Get your smells. Get your smells. Get your smells. It just smells. Come on. It just smells. Come on. It just smells. Yes. So just marking and paying for the long care guys. Good job. Oh, your pee -pees. Boy. Good job. So DOG up ahead. Remember, always uh, try to stay a block ahead, right? Or look behind just so you don't get surprised. So we might... Right, so I'm gonna dead stop because he's starting to pull, right? Okay. What are you trying to get to? What are you trying to get to? And then when you start again after that dead stop, you know, you gotta be incremental, right? So if he goes to jet out again, you gotta stop. Um, and then I hustled up to, cause I knew he wanted, thought he maybe wanted that little flag over there, but he just wanted over here. He's probably smelling that dog who just came by. So they may come around this way. Yup. Here they come. So all I'm going to do is mark and pay, right? I'm just going to yes and treat him for this dog, right? As soon as he orients, I'm preloaded. He's busy on the scent, but as soon as he orients to that dog, I'm just gonna mark and pay. He'll probably catch him in a second here once she gets past the, right? Cute little French bulldog. Wait one sec, wait one sec. Yeah, wait one sec. So he's still caught up on the scent. Yes. Yes. Again, I don't care about the lunging. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. 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 I'm just marking and paying. Yes. Now we got direct eye contact. Yes. Boy. So, they live on the right. Yeah, that's fine. And he ignores it, right. which is great. We don't want to bark right. Right. Now for the rest of the, well, their lives. You know, look, it, it, there's, there's really not much you can do, right? Like that's the dog you live next to. As long as they're not fighting at the fence and like looking to hurt each other, let them run and bark and do whatever they want. You so know, eventually he'll get tired. And yeah, you know, I mean, look, Barrier frustration is a real thing. The reason why dogs bark on leash or behind gates is because there's a barrier, right? Dogs are socially compulsive. And what they really want to do is go over and check that dog out. But the practicalities of real life is that you can't meet every dog. And you shouldn't because dogs could be aggressive or fearful or stressed. And, you know, head on greetings, face to face, direct eye contacts with threat signal, teeth or weapons. It's never a good idea to do face to face greetings. I mean, if you know the dog, okay sure it's okay but you know um and then the other thing is you know if the dog is barking and they're stressed and then they're, you're trying to meet that dog that's 
not good because now that dog's barking in your dog's face and they could feel away about it. So. Okay, good. Nice. Um, and again, see what he's doing here is he's smelling where that dog just walked, right? So that's good. That's a good a way for him to kind of meet that dog. Um, but that procedure of just marking and paying and counter conditioning him for when he sees dogs, that's what you want to do. When you say marking, I'm a little Yes is the mark. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Right. Yes. So when you say yes. Not a command, it's right. yes. So when you when you mark, you're either marking behavior. So if I say touch, yes. Right? Or if he would orient to the landscapers or a dog, I'm marking that event. And by marking that event, again, in time, you're going to get an auto disengage. Sometimes they just or they'll pop off the marker, right? They hear the word Y-E-S, and then they'll just look back at you. Um, but he did great with that, you know, like he did great. He, well, he could have been barking. He could have been flailing around, you know, and that's, you know, that's a common thing for dogs to do with that little French bulldog is like a lot of dogs. They just bark, you know, and they just want to come up and play with him. And the good thing is he doesn't run right over and like, Done. Yeah. Today, he today he says, I'll, I'll go, maybe I won't. Go. Today he doesn't. Yeah. Today right? If you keep marking and paying him, the chances of him staying under threshold and not wanting to run over there will increase. And he's doing great. Like, he's not necessarily pulling me, right? And again, I'm letting him get up to the scent, you know? Uh, we had a little bit over here, a little bit where he was a little excited, and I did a few dead stops. You know, and I'll go back. I'll let the dog investigate yes right marketing and, marketing and paying for the the landscaping equipment boy yeah do your peepees job buddy job come up, up right use a little prompt little clicky sound to move him on come on bud Oops, where are you going? How are you doing? What's going on? Wait. Cross. So when his paws hit the other side of the street, I'm going to mark and pay. Right? It's good to have a cross cue. Yes. Right? Because you never know. Like, you might need to move really quick, or he might be in downtown Red Bank one day, and you need him to wait at the street cross right so i always teach dogs a cross cue always a a good thing to have right buddy touch yes good job. so if your leash is out a little far right let's say you're walking your leash is out touch yes when he comes back to touch you can shorten your leash right as opposed to tugging or or the other thing you can do if the leash is out a little far is you can walk up the leash, right? But you don't wanna you don't wanna tug that to shorten it. Good job. I get some water. And again, I always tell people, you know, you can go on the right or the left. You move. Don't worry about the dog. Right? A lot of people want the dog on a certain side. Just put yourself on that side. Boop. Nope, can't do that, buddy. You guys gotta, you guys gotta empty that because that's gonna backfire on you. You're going to come up here one day and that's going to be full of crap water and he's going to drink it and he's going to get diarrhea. So you got to make sure that's not full of water. Come on, bud. 